Hey there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And with me once again, I have my wonderful son, Brian Wells Jr. And with me once again, I have my loving father, Brian Sr. And we're talking again about chickens about chickens that's right ladies and gentlemen this is a continuation in our series on the breeds that we're going to be raising here on 3b farm and homestead in 2018 the first breed we talked about was the cornish cross and why are we raising the cornish cross brian because they're a great meat bird that's right they're a great meat bird we're excited to try them out never raised strictly a meat bird before so we're excited to give that a whirl the second breed that we talked about was the Buff Orpington. The Buff Orpington, one of our absolute all-time favorite breeds and uh, excited about having them once again. The third breed we talked about was the Leghorn. The Leghorn, which happens to be Brian's favorite breed, one that's near and dear to his heart. The fourth breed we talked about was the Easter Egger. The Easter Egger. Why do we like Easter Eggers? They are the most beautiful bird. They're a pretty bird and they lay Beautiful eggs. Beautiful eggs. And so, on this episode, we are going to talk about the... Rhode Island Red. The Rhode Island Red. This is actually, if you can believe this, the first time we're actually going to be raising Rhode Island Reds. Now, very common breed, very well known as a backyard flock chicken, and yet, I don't know why, I've just never tried the Rhode Island Red. And so this year, we're going to order us some Rhode Island Reds. Now, Rhode Island Reds are what? Um, they're a multi-purpose breed. That's right. They're a, they're a dual-purpose breed. They can be raised for both meat and eggs. And so we're looking forward to getting some good egg production from them. We're looking forward to getting some good meat from them. A lot of people have had great luck with them. They're obviously from Rhode Island. That's where they originated. So they're going to be well acclimated to our climate. So excited about that. Um, the downside to the Rhode Island Red, from what I've read, is that the roosters can be a bit on the aggressive side. So, Which we're not going to be getting. We're not going to get an aggressive Rhode Island Red rooster. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. No. No. We don't want any aggressive birds around. Oh, well, they taste good, though. Yeah. Yeah. So we could eat them. Yeah. We'll put them in a separate pen. Buying them up. No. You can get them. No, no, no. We're not going to get any Rhode Island Red Roosters. Um, we're going to get some Rhode Island Red Pullets and uh, excited about that. So the first time ever having some Rhode Island Reds here, at least on purpose. We may have gotten them in the past in our Heinz 57 variety, like the Hatchery Surplus, but I don't remember having them. I really don't. I don't so I don't think we've had them. No. Um, so... Excited about trying Rhode Island Reds. So until next time, I'm Brian. And I'm Brian. Please like, share, and subscribe to 3B TV. We'll catch you later.